Hello guys, in this video I will show you three ways how to add a middleware to the route in Laravel with condition. And this will be based on Laravel starter kits. I've been playing around with some demo projects and I found an interesting scenario which I then tweeted, people replied, which led me to learn something about Livewire. But step by step. So in the latest starter kits they introduced a feature called two-factor authentication which is a great addition to the framework. People were waiting for that for quite a while, but if you click on that, you get password confirmation form, kind of extra security. And this comes with Laravel with a middleware called password confirm, which you can add to basically any Laravel routes like additional security layer. But in this case, this is the code of Livewire version of starter kit. So this is one way how you can add a middleware to the route with condition. Inside of that middleware you have when. So when has three parameters. The first parameter is the condition. In this case is feature enabled or disabled. And this comes from features in Fortify, which then leads to the config of Fortify. So down below in the config Fortify we have this so which features are enabled or disabled. So to get two-factor authentication into starter kits, they reintroduced Fortify, disabling majority of Fortify features except for two-factor authentication, which is fine. And the final two parameters of when is which middleware to enable if that condition is true and false. It's kind of like ternary operator in PHP. And this code is probably fine and I would not even emphasize that until AI suggested to refactor it for me. So I was working on totally separate things like generating a CRUD for a demo project or something like that. And then as a part of refactoring, what AI does quite often, it touches unrelated code. So then I went on Twitter and posted this. So this was the suggestion by AI, by Claude in this case, to transform that route middleware into if statement. So this is the before and the after. And I asked people, which do you prefer, before or after? Actually, I don't mind either of those. And people basically replied with the same opinions. Daniel is saying I'm used to both methods. Some of them prefer after, then Eric prefers before, and also Isaac created a poll in the reply, which I didn't do, and the votes are almost even. But some of the people pointed out that this complicated logic if statement or when should not even be in the routes. So if we take a look at the refactored version of if else, it's what, like eight lines of code for basically one route, which makes the whole file of routes web harder to read. And this is pointed by Jamie here. I would never put that in routes file. It makes it harder to read. And this is a great point. Imagine a new developer coming to routes to find something. And then this takes almost full screen in favor of the routes that are actually doing something in the application. And also same Eric pointed out that logic should not be in the routes. And a few people pointed out that it's both horrible decisions. And then Curious Sean suggested to move this logic in another class. Similarly, Adele, creator of Laravel Idea, by the way, suggests to move that logic inside of the two-factor class, which is exactly this one. So we will try to do exactly that, and I will show you why it's not that easy. But also, I want to process another suggestion by Pavel. And he's right, technically, that the middleware should check if it needs that condition. But the problem is that middleware password confirm is not public. That comes from Laravel core from vendors, so I cannot go to that middleware and change anything because it's in vendor Laravel framework. So in this case, that logic of put the condition into middleware unfortunately doesn't work. So then let's get back to the scenario of what can we put in that two-factor class. And in case of Livewire starter kit, it's not a controller, it's Livewire component. And I was thinking, do Livewire components support middleware somewhere? Can I provide middleware something like this middleware or something? And it doesn't appear in the autocompletes here, so I searched Livewire documentation, and I haven't found, at least in the official documentation, the syntax of add middleware inside of Livewire component. So first I thought, okay, then there is no solution here, and it's probably fine to have if else or route when in the routes web file. But then I realized that Livewire starter kit is not the only starter kit of Laravel. 
How did they do that in Vue.js or React.js starter kit? Let's take a look at the code. And this is where I discovered something. So this is the code of Vue.js version of the starter kit. And in the routes web, they load settings PHP, which is this. So in this case, we have view with inertia with regular Laravel controllers, not components like Livewire. That's why we have route get settings to factor with proper Laravel controller. And in this case, we don't see that if statements or route when is just a controller. So where is the middleware happening? And there we go. The first method in that controller has middleware function with basically the same condition, just in ternary way. And how does it do that? With implements has middleware. Now the question becomes, can we do that in livewire component like this? Let's try. So I basically copied absolutely the same method into livewire starter kit version into livewire component like this. We need to just autocomplete middleware from routing controllers here. And then also on top implements has middleware, which should be here on top like this. So both things are implemented in Livewire starter kit. And now let's change routes web to just route get like this without any if statements, just route get. By the way, side note, I'm not sure why, but the if statement is a bit different. So in the view version, it's just features option enabled. In Livewire version, there's another condition can manage to factor authentication. This is kind of the downside of having three different starter kits because the logic may be different and it's hard even for the core team to keep up with all the changes. But this is kind of the price we all pay for diversification for variety of tech stack choices for starter kits. And also there's one more thing we need to change in that middleware. I forgot that in the case of view controller, there are methods like show. In this case, we need to remove that only show condition for the middleware because we have only one live wire component without any show method. And now let's try to test it. I've loaded that project. So if we move around appearance, profile and password, it all works in the settings. Now the question is, if I click two factor auth, will I be greeted with password confirmation window? And the answer is yes, it works. So we do have that middleware enabled. And also we can test it out by disabling that feature. So in the routes web, we have this, then in here we have option enabled. Let's actually disable that. So in the config fortify to factor authentication, confirm password, let's change that to false. And now if we click to factor auth, we are inside without any password confirmation. So yeah, what I'm trying to say with this video, first that there are three ways how you can enable middleware with condition in the routes file with if statement or route when as the original live wire starter kit, but also kind of a discovery I made for myself that in live wire components, you can also add middleware with implements has middleware. Similarly, how you can do that in Laravel controllers. I tried to search for that in live wire documentation and in the middleware sections, I haven't found specifically that scenario. Maybe I missed something and maybe it's just me who discovered that. But anyway, I wanted to shoot the video with showing you that example. What do you think? Which way you would have chosen in this case? When function in the routes, if statements in the routes or middleware method inside of live wire component or controller. Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And if you want to find out more about two factor authentication in Laravel and recently updated tutorial on Laravel daily, which is about two factor authentication when they updated the starter kit, then I updated the tutorial with Laravel 12 listing all the general logic of two factor auth and available options, the official options of starter kits and also unofficial previous options and third party packages or how to create something like that yourself manually. So I will link that article in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.